Okay, so for one, I don't know what my hair is doing. For two, I literally got like six hours of sleep. For three, my throat hurts. I sound like a dying man. It's a thing. But anyway, I realized that I needed to film the story time about Washington because like about Washington DC because I had the vlog up but like weird stuff happened okay there were weird people there so let's get into the story so the first thing that happened we're at a gift shop and now this place is really small and there are a bunch of kids in there so like claustrophobia was my best friend man like dude so anyways I wanted to buy this little thing like a trinket for my parents because they wanted like a souvenir so I have this um what's it called it has a name yes it's a magnet well I'm gonna go get it just so you know I'm like not kidding I'm starting to think that my like phone has like better quality than this thing but like whatever so anyway this was the thing I wanted to buy all I wanted to buy was this all I had was this there was a line so I get in line, everything's cool, I have my wallet with me, and so then it's my turn. And it's only like $6, okay, like, I mean, kind of expensive for like a magnet, but like, it's only $6, so not, not that bad. So anyway, I come up, and this lady, okay, so now, I have to explain, like, where we are, okay. So there's a counter, and it's like tall. When I say tall, I mean like up to my shoulder. And then there's this lady, and she's like towering over it. And she's. I'm not saying this mean, but I think she didn't speak very good English, okay? Because it was like broken. Like, she was like missing some like words and stuff. And while that doesn't mind me, it's kind of ironic how you have that in Washington, D.C., right? And like, you need to speak common language when you're dealing with people who speak in that language especially with money because you don't want to like miss something and be like oh yeah like it's like five dollars or something you know what I mean like it's kind of important that you speak the language so anyway so I'm there I put the thing on the counter the magnet on the counter and she goes six dollars and so I'm like looking in my wallet looking if, if I have six dollars I don't want to break a 20 which as I'm doing this she is sitting up there yelling at me she's like six dollars six dollars six dollars and i'm just over here like, oh. like okay like sure like i'll give you all my money if you just stop yelling at me like oh my god like stop like shut up and stuff so i don't find it so i'm like okay i give you i give her the 20 and i'm like I need, i'm gonna need like change you know just to like make sure she like understood like as i was looking for it she just kept yelling at me she's like six dollars six dollars like, that's how she sounded. I was like, oh my god, stop yelling at me. I'm a treacherous little child. Like, don't do that. So, yeah. She gave me this change. I'm not even sure if she even, like, gave me the right money. Like, I feel like she just gave me my money back in, like, just once or something. Like, I don't remember. It was last year. But, like, anyway. She gives me my change. Like, I have, like, dollars and... That voice cracked, though. I have dollars and pennies and stuff. And, like, I drop one. There's, like, a bunch of people around me, too. And I'm like... Oh jeez. But like this one kid, he, he was so nice. He grabbed it and like gave it to me. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I go, I leave with my money and my $6 magnet in my bag. So this next time, we're at like a memorial. I forget where, what's it's called. But it had like, it's the one with like the waterfalls and stuff. I don't think I vlogged there actually, but like, I might have, I don't know. Anyway. So, I'm like being a weirdo and like taking pictures of my friends, right? Just out of context because that's really fun and stuff to me. And this girl, I know she's sitting there, she's like kind of like watching the interaction and stuff like intently and stuff. And she goes, oh hey, do you want me to take your picture? Like, I can take your picture. And I'm like, oh yeah, thank you, that's nice. But like, no, I'm, I'm good. And she's like, no, like, I can take it for you. Like, I can take the picture for you. Like, don't worry about me and stuff. She's like insisting she takes the picture. I'm like, oh no, you don't have to do that. She's like, she really wants to take the picture. I was like, I thought that was a little weird, you know? It's like, you don't have to take a picture. Like, honestly, we're good. And she's like, no, like, I can take a picture of you guys for you. Like, I'm really good with camera. Like, dude. And it's like, okay, that was a little exaggerated, but you know what I mean. Next time, we're at the mall. I forget what it's called. Again, I think it's not like Pedagog, or it could be, but. I don't know. 
anyway, huge mall, four floors, elevators, you name it. So, I was hungry, obviously, because it's me, and I eat a bunch. So anyway, I'm in line at the subway, and everything's fine. I'm, like, super tired also. So, like, there's, like, people going there and stuff. They're ordering. And every single girl that came up, the guy would call them baby. She'd be like, what do you want, baby? And it's like, what? And I was like, oh, please, I really hope he doesn't call me that. And so then, like, there's a guy in front of me. And I, I didn't, that didn't go through my brain. So he didn't call him baby, obviously. Like, he didn't call him baby. So he left. And I was like, okay, maybe he's not going to call me baby. Maybe he's not. Like, maybe, like, oh, no. But it's, like, really weird because he's, like, a full grown man. And he's, like, telling, like, a 13, no, 14 year old. It's like, what do you want, baby? Like, so I get up and he goes, what do you want, baby? And I was just like, a foot long. Then, yeah. So that was a little weird. And now this next story. <laughs> I feel so bad about this. Okay, so we're at the Smithsonian. And if you've never been to Smithsonian before, well, there's like a bunch of different ones. We went to like a really big one. And so the one with all the presidents, like, thing in there and there's like a big carriage like right in the middle and it's a circle in this area so I'm over there and my now my mom's camera was acting really weird and stuff like it was like all shifty and like blurry and stuff so I was like experimenting with it and like putting it up to see like how like the pictures would go and I see this lady she's like sitting there like resting by the camera and previous carriage and previously before this I saw her like She's carrying a bunch of bags, right? And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, yes. And she, like, sits down, you know? And she's, like, so relieved. And I'm like, okay, good for her. I'm like, I'm just testing this. And then she sees me. And she, like, gets up. And she's like, oh, were you going to take a picture? And I'm like, uh, no, I'm just, like, you know, no. Like, you can sit back down. She's like, no, I can move. Like, it's fine. Like, if you want to take a picture, you can take a picture. And I'm over here, like... What is it with these people and insisting I take pictures in DC? Like, what is it with them? But anyway, so she's like, you can take a picture, like, whatever, like, I'm fine. I'm gonna be like, I, I didn't say this, but I was thinking, it's like, but you were just so relieved to, like, sit down. Like, what? Why are you moving now? Like, she, like, jumped out, too, and stuff. So I'm like, no, I, I'm just, like, fine. Like, I'm not taking pictures. She, she, she kind of, like, stood there looking at me. With this kind of like confused look on her face, and she's like, But then why were you aiming the camera? <laughs> so, this is the part I feel bad about because I don't say a word. I, do, I was just kind of like, Um, uh, uh, and I just walked away. I just walked away. I walked away and followed my school children. Didn't say a word. I felt so bad about that. Like, like I didn't know what to say though, because it's like, Oh, yeah, like. My mom's camera is being weird, so I'm just like trying it out. But it's like, she was kind of weird though. It's like, I just walked away. Like, so yeah, these are the weird experiences I had at DC. Like and subscribe for more stories and content. So, thanks for watching and bye. Okay, so am I the only one that gets annoyed when people say like and subscribe? Like. Like, every video, I mean, like, if I'm, like, binge-watching videos and every time they're, like, yelling at you, like, okay, I could create, like, a whole video on, like, why YouTubers, like, annoy me, like, the stuff that they do that annoys me, but not, like, on themselves, you know, like. If you want to see that, comment down the, the like, I'm dying. Comment down below, and also, I'm really sunburned, actually not really sunburned, but, like, tan on my face, which is amazing, and I look terrible, but, like, I don't care, it's summer, I don't care, so, anyway, thanks for watching, and see you later.